Hashtag airtight, the future's in our hands With every chip and circuit we need your demands From concept to creation, we do it all with pride And tech research group, we're on your side Hi everyone, I'm Earl David Neva, the founder of VeeamTech, and for today's project, we're going to build Mecha Maven, the educational robot installer. But hey, you might be wondering, Earl, how can you claim that this is an educational robot? Well, I specifically designed this for educational purposes. It has 10 output pins to connect 10 sensors or an LCD. It also has two output pins for the I2C interface. It includes four motor drivers to operate four motors with the option to add up to six servo motors. Also, it is equipped with a positive buzzer to play music and much more. This robot can be controlled using a PS3 controller, a mobile phone, and a computer. But for today's video, we are going to focus on controlling this robot using a PS3 controller. Cool, right? I mean, if we have this, you couldn't ask for more. Like this smooth segue from our sponsor. A massive shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the leading professional PCB fabrication services. Just upload your Gerber files, get an instant quotation, and have your PCB professionally done in just 24 hours. Shipping is fast and you get 10 PCBs for the price of $5. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get right into it. Let's start with the things you will need. 4 pieces of DC geared motor, mechanum left and right wheel pair, 4 pieces of 2-pin female JST connector, 4 pieces of 2-pin male JST connector, 2 pieces of 18650 battery, 1 piece of 18650 battery holder, a male header pin, 1 piece of slide switch, a female header pin, an ESP32D1 Mini, 2 pieces of 4-pin female JST connector, 2 pieces of 3-pin female JST the connector, a PS3 controller, a mini USB, a micro USB, the PCB, the PCB stencil, 8 pieces of 2.7mm by 29mm screws and their nuts, 4 pieces of 1.8mm by 10mm screws and their nuts, a 3D printed spacer and a 3D printed body. For the hand tools and the fabrication machines, you will need a soldering iron, a soldering pump, soldering lead, a hot air SMD rework station, solder paste tweezers, and a 3D printer to print the body of the robot. 3D print some parts. The first thing we need to do is to print the body of this robot, followed by printing these four pieces of spacer. First, we need to place the stencil on top of the PCB. Then, apply a decent amount of solder paste and spread it over the holes in the stencil. After doing that, remove the stencil from the PCB. Next, place all the SMD components starting with the L9110SIC, followed by the 0.1 microfarad capacitor and the 10 kiloohm resistor. From this point, I'll just list the names and the values of the components based on their placement on the PCB. A 22 microfarad capacitor, a 10 microhendic inductor, a 26.1 kiloohms variable resistor, an MP2307 IC, a 10 kiloohm resistor, a 3.9 nanofarad capacitor, a 6.8 resistor, a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, a 100 kiloohms resistor, and two 10 microfarad capacitors. Repeat this process on the other side of the PCB. Also, don't forget the LED indicator light and the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Look at that! It really looks awesome! Nice. Now, using a hot air rework station, melt the solder paste which will effectively position the components correctly. After that, it's time to solder all the THT components starting with the 2-pin JST female connector followed by the slide switch. Next, solder the 3-pin and 4-pin JST female connector, the 18650 battery holder, the positive buzzer, and the female header pin for the ESP32. And there you have it. We're done placing all the components on the PCB. Yes, of course. I have provided the Gerber files and the schematic diagram for this project on my GitHub. Now, it's time to solder the male header pins of the ESP32. Now, it's time to attach the PCB to the 3D printed body. Start by inserting the four pieces of 1.8mm by 10mm screws into the PCB, making sure to place the spacers between the PCB and the 3D printed body. After that, secure them with the nuts. Of course, this robot car will not work without the motors. We need to attach all four motors to the 3D printed body first. Secure them in place using the 2.7mm by 20 
29mm screws and their nuts. In this part of the tutorial, we need to do soldering again. We need to solder wires from the PCB to the motors and we will use the 4 pieces of 2-pin male JST connectors. For the orientation of this robot, remember that this is the front part. If you look closely at the PCB, there are indicators showing where to connect the wires from the motors to the PCB. For instance, MFR stands for Motor Front Right, meaning this is where you will connect the wire from the front right motor of the robot to the PCB. So make sure to take note of that. Now, we need to attach the mechanism wheels to the shaft of the motors. If you look closely at the mechanism wheel, there are labels indicating whether it is for the right or left side of the robot. So, in this case, since these are the wheels for the right side, I'll attach these two wheels to the right side and the other two to the left side of the robot. It's programming time! But before we can program the ESP32, we need to download the Arduino IDE. First, go to the Arduino website and download the Arduino IDE. After clicking the download button, wait for the download to complete. Once once done, we need to install the Arduino IDE. Click on the downloaded file and follow the installation steps. Click I agree, then next, and finally install. Once the installation complete, click the finish button to run the Arduino IDE. We need to open the browser again and go to my GitHub repository to download the code. You can do this by typing github.com forward slash earldanielph. After that, all my repositories will appear and you need to click on Mecha Maven. Once there, Click on code and download it as a zip file. Click on the downloaded file. Right click and extract the file. Then open the Mecha Maven by Ivtech code. This time, we need to download the PS3 controller library. Copy this part of the code and paste it in your browser. Click on this link and then this one. Click on the code and download it as a zip file. After that, go to sketch, include library, add that zip file library, and select the downloaded library file. Go back to your browser and type ESP32 to download manager. Click on this link, scroll down a bit, copy the URL, return to your Arduino IDE, click on file, then preferences. Click on this and paste the URL you copied from the website earlier and hit OK. Then click here. Now, go to the board manager, type ESP32 and install the ESP board manager under Sprasip system. Now, return to your browser to download the 6-axis pair tool. Type 6-axis into your browser. Click on this link and hit the download button. Just wait for it to start downloading. Once it's done, open the file, click next, then next again, click here and hit install. Once the installation is complete, click finish. This time, we need to open the 6-axis pair tool and insert the USB cable from the computer into the PS3 controller. Once you've done that, the MAC address of your controller will appear on the 6-axis pair tool. In my case, this is my MAC address and I will type it into my code. After getting your MAC address, you can now remove the USB cable from your computer going to your PS3 controller. And finally, we are now going to upload the code to the ESP32. Make sure to connect the micro USB cable from your computer to your ESP32. Now, click on to Tools, then board. Select Wemos D1 Mini ESP32. Click on tools again, then port, and choose the appropriate port for your ESP32. In my case, it is COM24. Finally, click upload. Once the uploading is done, you can now remove the micro USB cable from your ESP32 and connect your ESP32 to your PCB. It's demo time. Don't forget to switch on your robot. Also, don't forget to switch on your PS3 controller. Wait for it to pair, and there you have it. The project is it's completed. It's time to sit back and enjoy the fruit of your labor. F -tack, F -tack, the future's in our hands. With every chip and circuit, we need your demands. From concept to creation, we do it all with pride. F Tech Research Group, we're on your side. And that's it for today's video. This has been Earl Dave with the Nema, and as always, keep learning and have fun. Bye!